I'm Louis Spada, co-owner of Shelsky's Brooklyn Bagels, and, and I'm Peter Shelsky, co-owner of Shelsky's Brooklyn Bagels. Years ago, I opened an advertising shop on Smith Street uh, because I was sick and tired of schlepping into Manhattan for all the food that I grew up eating. The bagels are sort of a natural extension. Why put amazing Nova and smoked fish on bagels that are, are less than perfect? To do something that we sorely miss, which is a really good bagel. When you say you miss it, does that mean it's dead? It, or it was dead until now. Dead, uh, dead. I don't know about dead, but 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 it's close to dead. Close. Um, I would say that. It's been on life support. I, I think for a long time. I think the bagels in the city have gotten huge and they've gotten soft. Bagels should not be soft and huge. Steve Jobs once said that people don't know what they want. You got to tell them what they want. Um, we have to re-educate people that that's not what a bagel is. Right. A bagel is actually dense and chewy with a with a, a profound crust. The defining characteristic of a bagel is its competing texture, is that crust on the outside and this dense, chewy interior crumb. That's the bagel of our youth. We grew up with those bagels. We really wanted to bring it back to its original glory. For one, we use a uh, sourdough starter, um, which was uh, brought to us by uh, Matthew Tilden, uh, formerly of Scratch Bread. I know that you are a legendary bread master. Will you will you share a little bit of your background? <laughs> we call him the dough whisperer. I don't know about all the that. The dough whisperer. I just consider myself somebody that plays with dough. Even raw, these smell amazing. Sorry, see, there's tons of bagels we're gonna do. A couple thousand on a weekend morning. This is the pumpernickel flavors in here, like cocoa and molasses, coffee grounds, burnt wow. caramel, caraways in there. We're using egg yolks, turmeric, and annatto seed in the egg ones. Wow. Um, and then this really cool Indian sulfur salt that tastes like hard boiled eggs. It's really fun. That's amazing. Solid everything mix. So now these go in the oven. We have a source of better ingredient. We have a different spin on things. And just, I, don't, I don't want to say artisanal. <laughs> yeah, please don't. don't. Please don't say artisanal. <laughs> Good bread takes time to mature. The yeast needs to work. And so our bagels take three days before we bake. We're not going to make a bagel just for the sake of making a bagel. We stuff. source our cool stuff, but we make ourselves. The coleslaw, the chopped liver, the potato salad. We're not getting out of the bucket. <laughs> and this maple syrup. Yeah. You guys are doing classics, but you're also doing some wackier items. Right. We are. We're foregoing the the uh, blueberry bagels and rainbow bagels. Uh, no unicorn yeah, bagels on the menu. Not doing that stuff. Uh, what we do have uh, is a cracked pepper and salt bagel. Uh, we, we joke around and sort of call it a, a bagel au poivre because uh, it's a pretty well crusted bagel with cracked pepper and salt. It's got a nice peppery kick to it. When you bite into that bagel. It's, you know it's special. Oh, the right. way. <laughs> Proper way to eat a bagel. Go for what you love. Go for what you love. So you're not gonna like shame people who come in asking for a fish on oh. cinnamon raisin. Oh, I'll shame oh, them. He will. Mayonnaise and a pastrami sandwich. Just don't. Just don't. Okay. You're, I'm gonna judge you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna judge you. Oh, hang on one second. I want to show you why I'm why I'm. Okay. Open. Sometimes nothing makes me happier than just grabbing a bagel off the shelf. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's how to eat a bagel. I'm so happy. Well, you're fighting the good fight and bringing it, yes. bringing it back that's to the how, That's how we roll it. That's how we roll it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs>